Johnny's Market area is to get it in. Nobody's complaining. Right, but that, that's okay. So that's fine. That's it. That's cool. Great. Wonderful. Are we off? The, is the funding been? We have the funds for this. You do have funds again. Um, okay. Are we now? We're we're, we're cash positive here now. No. Well, how do we tell? How do we? Where are we getting this money to spend? Okay. Where's the portion of money to spend before you're here? Where are we? Before I cash it. So just before um, they went ahead and opened it to public comment, I had stated that the department assessed this board situation in terms of exhaustive efforts. And we wanted to ensure, again, because all of the funding documents uh, have been submitted on a timely basis, they've actually been improving um, while they're exhaustive efforts. The department allowed the neighborhood council for one meeting to address funding matters as in the Avenue community, Let's see what you can do. And so, based on that, in the month of October, they were they had were given five funding items. I'm sorry. No, Three of which were tabled, two which were approved by the board. After that meeting, the department received quite a number of emails and phone calls. Um, and at that point, we realized that the board wasn't ready to address funding items. Um, and so because those two items were already committed, we moved forward with those. The issue was that the writing of the motions were incorrect. As Michelle has stated, neighborhood council cannot pay a third party to pay the vendor or to pay the organization. They must be paid directly by the neighborhood council. So how are these funds being spent? They're not operational. Do you allow that? Okay. Right, okay. yeah. Okay. No, Mr. McGuire, as, yeah. as the they have to agree to not get paid until exhaustive efforts yes. are lifted. Now, they're taking their chances. I mean, it could be oh. next month, it could be four months. Right, right. So, uh, right. Oh, it can, it could be, it could never happen. They oh. take that chance. So it, it's a pending situation here. Right? right, so what we're asking is for the board, one, to approve the motion with the correct language so that we can go ahead and process after being taken out of exhaustive Well, there's two things happening. Was said there's exhaustive efforts, yeah, that's and then there's cash flow positive. Oh, yeah, right. That time was already done. Thanks, happy. Right. I think I'm up. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, um, was that the last public comment on this item? And we have already done the board vote. We, um, Ruben, you made the motion, you moved the motion, and Michelle seconded. And this is the motion to reconsider, um, to reconsider the original motion that was approved on October 2014. Are we, we're going to go ahead and take a vote now? All in favor, raise your hand. For the change language? To yeah. reconsider the motion. Right now we're voting to reconsider. 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 Right now we're voting to Motion passes. Okay, moving on to the next item, item number seven. This is um, discussion of possible action on the motion that LA32 co sponsored with El Serino Community Arts at the Alegos Muertos event with funding up to $1,000 to be paid to Echo and Mexico for food to be provided at the Dia de los Muertos event on Saturday, November 1st, 2014. In addition, for use at the event, LA32NC will provide clear glue and tissue paper that is currently in the LA32 public storage and the use of LA32 Easy Up and chairs. That is the new motion. I move the motion. Somebody can second it. I second it. Ruben, do you motion? Second by Michelle. And now we'll go ahead and open up the discussion. If the name Petro Medico is the only thing to be substituted on this motion, why is the motion all written and re completely different? It's not written completely differently. Yeah. No, it's, it's not been 
wheelchair, what I'm saying is all they had to do is just plug in Metro Maple and rewrite it exactly the same. What's different? We did remove the receiving the, the stipulation because it had been received and um, it's like pasting. You take out, yeah. put in, yes. take out, put in. I don't see what's different. It's different. I know, it reads better. It reads more. <laughs> it reads more. Um, but, but the one that we approved prior to is the one that we were reconsidering. Yeah, and we're reconsidering it now. So now we're reconsidering it and we're changing the custom plan. I mean, but what substance has changed about it? Nothing. Where is the negative one? There's, there's no change. The substance is, it, is exactly what it states on the first, with the exception of extra Okay, but that's not my question. I'm just saying, why did we just put the extra maple and leave the same wording as the first one? Why is it that it's reworded completely different? Why? My question. I mean, I don't know. What you're saying is the only thing that was removed was that under the stipulation of receiving an itemized list? That was removed. Because we received the list. Um, what else? That's it. That's what I'm going to Board, can you speak louder? I'm trying to record. I cannot hear anyone. Look, I don't need this. No, 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 no